This is Rachel. Yeah, so I'm Rachel. Um, I'm from Scotland, specifically I'm from East Fife. And she's about to graduate. And I study molecular genetics here at the University of Edinburgh. But in school, she had different ideas. The family friend was asking if I was going to go into university and I was like 14. I replied with, um, oh, people like me don't go to university, I'm not smart enough. I'm like, looking back, I just want to go and give myself a little hug and be like, no, no, you're good enough. But she's not the only one. Everyone in science have their own stories. So I have asked a few of them whether they face challenges and to share their stories. When, when I applied to the university, uh, it was quite scary because um, I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I wasn't sure what um, was going to happen. My family hadn't been to university, so I didn't really know what to expect. I was the only girl doing um, the second year of A-levels in physics. I was the only person in my class doing advanced higher biology and chemistry. I had like a little bit of like imposter syndrome for the first maybe couple of semesters. I left school after fifth year when I was 16. This one moment when I really started to doubt myself and I actually really thought, is this the career for me? When I was there and when I was struggling, you know, my family didn't really know what I was going through. When you look at scientists and think, how am I going to get there? It becomes a point in your life where you, you realise you do have the choice to take your life in any direction that you want it to. Even difficult things are always achievable if you break them into really small steps. So I just sort of gradually picked away at my inabilities and made them into abilities and got there in the end. Another good thing which I learned um, in my science fiction is that you would always have people who can help you. I think sometimes when you just hang around with other people, you learn a little bit from them and you share your experiences about learning. Everyone in your class is there because they apply to be there and they want to be there and one of the most exciting things about coming to university is like, oh my gosh, everyone actually likes this. <laughs> Everybody's different and just the fact that your family didn't go to university or you know, you're younger or you're different in some way, that's your difference but everybody's different and we make our own way. In. There are two main reasons why I study science. The first is discovery. You can discover things that nobody else has ever discovered and that's just really exciting. But the other part of science is about making a difference, is that you take this discovery, you take this research and apply it. Whether it's saving people's lives, whether it's improving our ecosystem health, whether it's like, me, I want to save the whales if I'm perfectly honest. To everyone out there, everyone who's in school and who's thinking of pursuing a career in science, is that if you're passionate about it and if you believe in it, then go for it, I say, because you've got every chance in the world to achieve it.